In my hands here, I have two balls of yarn that um, you probably wouldn't want to use in one project. Um, this is a very autumny ball. It's got um, reds and greens and oranges in and some browns. And then this one has got purples and turquoise and some reds and some oranges, but they are quite different. Now, this came about totally by accident. Um, I was knitting with hand-dyed yarn, and when I knit with hand-dyed yarn, um, I like to alternate it row by row to get a better blend of the colors, because an indie dyer is a human being. It's not a machine, and it's impossible for any person to dye a large um, quantity of yarn and get them all exactly the same. So normally when you end one ball and you start the next ball in a project, you can clearly see there's a line where, where something happened. And, and I want to avoid that, so I'm always alternating the yarn. And when this alternating thing happened, now here you can see how beautiful those two balls of yarn are together. Look at that. Can you imagine that this is the result of those two balls of yarn that are vastly different. You can sort of, sure, sure, sure. You can sort of see that the turquoise bits give it away that this is actually working in rows. You can see that every second row has got a bit of turquoise and a bit of pink that the other row doesn't have. So if you look closely like this, you can definitely see that there's a row thing going on. But but if you were just to wear this, somebody that doesn't know won't know. And the technique happened by accident. Um, I actually made a silly mistake and I thought, oh, this is interesting. So I made it on purpose the next time. Let me just sort out my yarn. Okay, let's put this one that side. And we have this one this side. Now I'm nearly at the end of my round. Now what you will see immediately is that there's um, working yarn hanging on the right side of my work on the front. So let me get to the end of this round. I've just got a few stitches left here. Um, four. My angle is a bit off now because I'm sitting with a camera on my lap so just excuse me. Okay. At the end of the round, you take the ball that you've worked with and you bring it to the front of your work and you leave it hanging there. And the other one that you're now going to work with, you take it to the back. But under no circumstances do you twist it. It doesn't twist around each other. Let me show you that again. I worked with this one. <clears throat> this was the stitch, the yarn that I made the last stitch with. And I will bring it around as if to pull, but I will leave it hanging here on the right hand side. And this is the yarn that was here. I'm going to take that to the back now, but I don't twist them here in the front. None at all. Now I'm going to continue around with this yarn. Slip my marker. And I'm just going to start knitting with the other one. They don't twist around each other at all. Okay, so let me finish this round and then come back and I'll show you again what happens and then I'll show you the burn points of this technique, what you have to look out for. So I'll see you just now when I'm nearly at the end again. Okay, I am at the end of the round. I've got how many stitches left? Three. Okay, so when I get to two stitches, I'm going to give it a bit of a pull here to tighten them up. And I will show you why just now. Okay, I'm at the end. So I'm going to take the working yarn to the front and leave it here on the right hand side. I'm going to pick up the other one and I'm going to take it to the back without twisting it. And I'm going to start working with this one. This one is now in front, that one is at the back, so I can just start knitting. Alright, so what are the burn points? Okay, let me just do a couple of stitches more, and then I can show you. Alright, 
here is the um, you can see where my stitch marker hangs you can see there's a little bit of a ditch here what happens and I know this because I've tested it once you've washed this item the yarn moves a little bit and it settles and when you steam block it this thing completely disappears you don't see it the only telltale style there is is this one row that I'm sliding my finger under to make it more pronounced that's somewhat more loose than the next one and I don't know why it's something that I do okay so this is what it looks like on the right side you cannot see where I have swapped the yarns what does the wrong side look like no telltale sign whatsoever nothing none there's no strands of yarn sitting there I don't know why it works but it works and it works damn well and yeah this is what I'm now doing when I'm knitting in the round I'm just totally amazed by what happened by accident so yeah I know if I steam this now this little bit of inconsistency is going to disappear completely and you will have a perfect project alternating two balls of yarn and you can't see the difference and all you do is you let it hang in the front of the work and you carry on with the other one at the back and that's it